Springing ahead to this weekend and into this week, uh, the temperatures are finally starting to spring for us too, uh, but not tonight. Tomorrow we'll get that going. Uh, this evening, just a few flurries still holding on across parts of the area, but overall, uh, drier weather will win out as the night goes on. 38 degrees, our current temperature. How about a low of 23 this morning? Cold start across the area. Let's go ahead and take a look at temperatures. I'm expecting lows to drop back into the 20s tonight, but not into the lower 20s like they were this morning. It's uh, 39 in Berlin Center, 40 in Salem, uh, 38 at the airport. Uh, we're going to get Warren fixed. Had a lot of calls in about Warren. This little sensor problem over there. Uh, that's not our sensor, but keeping an eye on it for you. We'll get you back on there, Warren, one of these days. Youngstown's at 38, uh, but temperatures in the upper 30s, close to 40 degrees all across the region this evening. Doppler radar uh, still continuing to show some of those light flurries over into western uh, parts of Mercer County, but very, very light, just stray flurries. Where I'm watching, way, way off to the west. I'm talking 2,000 miles away tonight. A big storm system crashing the coast, the west coast of the country. This is going to scoop up a lot of warm air, eventually scoop up moisture and develop a pretty strong storm system across the middle part of the country. That is what is going to bring us rain as we go into a Thursday and Thursday evening, even a chance of thunderstorms. Not tonight, though. Temperatures falling out of the 30s on into the 20s overnight. Tomorrow morning, a few clouds around and we're going to see some holes in those clouds tomorrow. That means some sunshine finds its way out. Temperatures building into the upper 50, so a much warmer day tomorrow. Uh, a southwest winds going to be gusty at times, but at least this time uh, the air is a little bit warmer with that wind jumping up to 20 miles per hour. Uh, tomorrow night temperatures falling into the 40, so a warmer night and that means a warmer day expected as we go on into Wednesday afternoon highs in the 60s. Wednesday, only a very small chance of an isolated sprinkle or shower, a better chance of rain as we go into Thursday, and that's when I'm expecting the chance of thunderstorms too as we go through Thursday. So gusty winds, some thunderstorms around. I'm going to keep a close eye on these as they move on through later this week. That's a strong storm system. You're going to hear a lot about it this week. As we go late in the week, temperatures do start cooling off and a small chance of showers into Friday morning. 28 tonight, mostly cloudy skies, a few flurries early. Tomorrow, temperatures in the upper 50s, a breezy day and scattered clouds. By the way, it's a severe weather awareness week in Ohio and tomorrow evening Skywarn class down in Columbiana County. It starts at six o'clock at the Career and Technical Center in Lisbon. Uh, it's free to the public. Head on in. That's for Columbiana County. Learn how to spot those storms and the National Weather Service always does a nice job uh, presenting those. So uh, something to educate yourself with as we go into spring season and storms get going. 60 on Wednesday, 60 on Thursday. I'll be watching for thunderstorms Thursday. Friday, chance of showers early, a little cooler to end the week in your Easter weekend. Highs in the upper 50s, both Saturday and Sunday. I am watching a storm system for Sunday into Monday with a small chance for showers right now. Going to keep an eye on it. A lot of it hinges on how fast we get this storm out of here late week and how fast that second storm can rebuild for the weekend. Get those Easter egg hunts in early on Sunday then, right? That's right, and if not, Saturday's looking pretty nice. There so, you, go. you know, part of the weekend yeah. at least is looking nice and just a small chance on Sunday right now. All right, thanks, Paul.